the new Talk Radio 1210 WPHD. Welcome back, everyone, to the Dreyfus Initiative here at the National Constitution Center. Dom Giordano with Richard Dreyfus. And as we said early on, Richard has a few announcements that give us a sense that we are getting traction on this whole issue of getting civics back in the schools to American school kids. Richard, what are some of those announcements? We're going to make some news right now. We have created an American history play competition among all the regional theaters of the United States. They will produce plays about American history or the alternative what if of American history or the possibilities of America's future, but they will introduce into the culture plays that are based upon known things or unknown things of which there are gazillions and at the end of every season someone or someones will get a phone call and faint dead away because they will be told that they have won a prize and they will win three hundred thousand dollars and so far we have so far we have Every single theater that we've called, the Guthrie, the Taper, um, the Ford Theater, the La Jolla, and the Globe, and we'll get all of them because there's no downside for them. And this is a free market rules competition. If, it's, if a play is smart enough, good enough, that the artistic director says it'll be in the season and it can make us money, it's automatically competitive. And then you do that for 10, 20 years and you will raise up not only an awareness of history but awareness of values that are called American and you will find entertainment and you will find values in, in our entertainment. The reason why our movies for the past 15 years have been about teenage angst as expressed through vampires and or about the science of movies like Avatar which is just a self-congratulatory thing about look at what I can do <laughs> is because art is always meant to reflect a society and we don't know who we are anymore so we have to find out who we are so that artists can then tell us and some of them are going to get rich doing it and that is called a trifecta. And the last bit of news is this. We are in discussion with a family and they have come to an agreement. That family is more associated with this country than any other name in the country. They are associated with the birth and our values more than any other. And because there has never been such an institute or research tank as we are creating, I am proud to tell you that the Washington family, the direct descendant of George Washington's brother, has given us the property called the Happy Retreat, which is a series of buildings and public spaces in West Virginia, a spit away from Washington, D.C., right near Harper's Ferry, to establish the very first institute for the support of Enlightenment values and Republican democracy. And it will house... And I am more proud of this than I can possibly tell you. Um, There's never been support for Republican democracy, which is why what we really do is we wear the costume of Republican democracy at Fourth of July picnics, and then when things get rough, we take off childish things and we put on authoritarianism, and we break break every rule under God's law, and then we say, sorry, no more. We will support Republican democracy intellectually. We will give bullet points to talk show hosts. 
we will. Wait, wait a minute now. We don't need any bullet points. I got to tell you, this is all extra rain. No bullet points coming our way. You have a script, we don't. There's no script in talk radio. I just want you to know that. Here is... You had no script tonight, by the way. In, in advertising, advertising makes its rules by who screams the loudest. And reason can't be screamed. So there's been no defense of reason in the public airways. And we're going to give reason some glitter and some glitz. It may not be shouting and screaming, but it's going to be something you want to hear because it's not going to be Fox News. It's not going to be nonsense pretending to be news. It's not going to treat you like children. You're not children. You're adults. Could I, could I ask you to throw MSNBC in with that just for the record? Sure. Okay, thank you. We got that on the record. You hear that tomorrow. Okay, one more question for Mr. Dreyfus. Go right ahead, sir. Okay, hi. My name is Joe Doherty. I'm from Collingswood, New Jersey. Uh, Mr. Dreyfus, I'd like to know what are some methods that are being used to evaluate the effectiveness of the Dreyfus Initiative? Well, when we find, uh, we have a number of universities that want to uh, be our partner in this, and they'll take a year listening to teachers and teaching teachers and at the end of that first year it will be put into practice in a school in a number of school districts and we will learn from that experience how effective we are there are certain things such as how do you prove good citizenship that can't be proven when you graduate from high school you can only know that 10 years later when you've seen how someone has been a citizen. So things t will take time and things have to be with the dollop of humility. I have to have a dollop of humility, which is hard. And we have to be willing to learn from our experience and mistakes. But we do know what our mandate is. We believe that intelligent is better than stupid. We believe that we should never ever pass up and out and graduate kids who can't read or write or think. The new Talk Radio 1210 WPHD.